I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Heaven is spoken as a place where there's no sorrow or suffering, infirmity, but only joy and peace and worship. Wouldn't there be sorrow if a believer entered heaven and the believer realized a loved one was not there, such as a parent or grandparent who'd passed away before the believer? This is a great question that Unfortunately, it's all too real for too many of us. But yes, you're right. The Bible does speak of heaven as this great place of no suffering, no sorrow. However, those passages in the Bible take place in Revelation chapter 21. That's right. What we call the new heaven, the new earth, and the new Jerusalem. Much like the Bible speaks of hell today, but the lake of fire tomorrow, the Bible does speak of heaven today but it talks about a new heaven in Revelation 21 and following. And it's in that famous passage where it says there'll be no more sorrow, no more pain, no, et cetera. So all that being said, right now, if a believer in Jesus Christ finds themselves absent from this body, they are, according to 2 Corinthians 5, they are present with the Lord. The only picture that we have of being present with the Lord right now is in Revelation chapter 4 and 5, where they're gathered around the throne of God celebrating the person of God. But we also know these same individuals one day return with the Lord Jesus in chapter 19 of Revelation. They reign a thousand years. Then we have this great final judgment, and there's a new heaven, new earth, new Jerusalem. Why does all that matter? Because the heaven that we long for of no sorrow doesn't take place until Revelation chapter 21. Now, my own earthly father is in heaven right now. Is he experiencing some type of sorrow? I don't know, but I do know this. In Revelation chapter 6, there are a group of people who we call martyrs. They have been killed for their faith. And they ask this question, Oh God, how much longer are you going to wait before you avenge our death? Think about the emotions. That's kind of the emotion of disappointment, right? You say, well, you mean there's disappointment in heaven? Not once you get to Revelation 21. See, the new heaven, the new earth, the new Jerusalem has not been established or created yet. And that's the passage that says only joy, no sorrow. So don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to the heaven of today. I'm really looking forward to the new heaven of tomorrow. It's a great question. If you have one, send to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. And we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.